chicken steak and shrimp. The fried rice. We have chicken and shrimp. We don't have combination and chicken and shrimp. We have like coconut combo, only shrimp, or only chicken, or only shrimp. Okay. You can put the coconut combo. What is that? It's a chicken steak and shrimp with the fried rice. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, hello, my people. You guys come on, let's eat. Oh, my God. It's so cold here. It's good to drink soup. You guys come on, let's eat. Hi, Lisa. How you guys doing? This is a new restaurant they open on... um. Jimmy Lee, Jimmy Lee, um, what is it? Jimmy Lee Parkway, I don't know. CJ James. Mm. It's a new restaurant. Come on, let's eat. This is like a hibachi. They have the hibachi side and they have the regular side. Well, since I'm here by myself, I'm sitting on the regular side. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Everybody's invited. You all come eat lunch with Chef Ruby. Hey, Marema, how you do? How you do? You guys like my hair? Yeah. I have to read some. Hi, Yolanda. Mama Tracy, how are you? Hey, thank you. Mm. Mm. Come in. Chef Ruby is so hungry. What is this? Ah, what's that? Ah, it smells like fish, fish sauce. I don't want that. I don't tell them I want onions ring. I say I want tempura. Why they give me all this? I ask for tempura. They give me all this. I don't know what is that. Huh? It's so good. Mm. Thank you, Miss Joyce. Mm. That food is so good. What is it? This is not tempura. I order for tempura. They give me three. Now they pack all this stuff for me. I don't know. What is this? This is oyster. This is mushroom. No. They don't want to give me shrimp. They go give me all this stuff right here. I like onion shrimp though. But I didn't order for onion ring. These people are smart. Mm. They are very smart. They're trying to save the shrimp. They're supposed to give me like six shrimp. What is this? Who tell them I want fried broccoli? They, they want to save the shrimp. I order for tempura. I'm supposed to have like six of them. Now they go give me fried broccoli. They give me fried potato. They give me fried squash. And they give me fried mushroom. Who told them I want that? 
What is this? I didn't ask them for fried broccoli. I never eat fried broccoli. Broccoli. I'm going to ask the lady. I said fried tempura. Fried tempura, they gave me fried potato. Good afternoon, Adele. Betty, how are you? Sarah, how you doing? You guys, come on. Yeah, come on, let's in. I order for fried tempura. They're trying to save their shrimp. They're supposed to give me at least six tempura. They give me four tempura and give me all this stuff I don't want. Who want fried squash? Fried mushroom. I never eat fried mushroom. Fried broccoli. I don't want none of that. I only want my tempura. I want my tempura. She needs to give me two more tempura. I don't like all this flour in my stomach. I just want the shrimp. Welcome on us in. Hi, Fubi. How are you? Hi, Brendan. Hi, Linda. You guys come on. I feel like they cheat my money. I order for for tempura. They're supposed to give me like six. Sarah said it's okay. Enjoy. It's not okay. Home. You know, money is difficult nowadays. So when you spend it, you have to get a value. You have to get a value. Look, this is all waste. I don't eat fried squash, fried broccoli, and fried mushrooms. I don't even know how much for the tempura. If the tempura is five dollars, they owe me five dollars. Um, if the tempura is ten dollars, they owe me five dollars. Cause those those four that I eat is five, and they owe me four. They owe me four more. They owe me four more tempura. The internet is not good here. Um, hello, take it back, <laughs> Pamela. You have to add just shrimp. They gave a veggie tempura, vegetable and shrimp. <laughs> Me, I said tempura, my dear. So when I said tempura, it's tempura I need. I don't need fried broccoli, fried squash, fried fried, fried uh, okra. No. They give me free pepper soup, though. <laughs> pepper soup. Is it, is it a pepper soup? The pepper soup is only one. This is, at, this is artificial mushroom. I'm not going to eat it. Artificial mushroom, mushroom. You see the pepper soup? It's not like African pepper soup. Mm. Okay. Why they give me all these vegetables? So it's come with three pieces of shrimp and then also the tempura paste. So they try to save the shrimp, then now they give me vegetable. Me, I don't like vegetables. I don't like uh, squash fried. Mushroom. Yeah, but then how we serve that? Eh? Three pieces of shrimp and then the pizza with tempura on it. Eh? You guys owe me three three tempura. I don't want this. Go tell your manager I need three more tempura. I don't want none of this fried stuff. Okay. Mushroom stink. This one no. Mm -hmm. This is fried squash. You like fried squash? I don't like deep fried something deep fried. I don't do something deep fried. That's why you're skinny. I want to be like you. No more fried food for me. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. No, that's why. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm just joking. Oh my God, are you serious? No, I'm not. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. 
<laughs> Guys, my other life is off because the internet connection is not good. So I don't know if I'm going to go live on the other side. Post it now. The connection is not good over here. Don't spay that meal, chef. <laughs> Miss Eva, you have to be specific to stay to stay shrimp no my dear i order for tempura you guys know chef ruby i said give me tempura that's it you know so when you order tempura it's tempura that's all i know so if they come give me tempura veggie tempura this tempura that what is that they try to save the shrimp it's supposed to be like six shrimp they give me three shrimp then they pack all our fried veggies you know they have a bunch of veggies in that in that kitchen they just dip it in the flour and throw it in the oil. They pack it on your plate. Now they put three shrimp on top. Hello. Uh, I have to look at the price on the tempura. You know? But anyway, that's done. I'm not going to reorder tempura. Or next time, I will say tempura only. No veggies. Yeah. Only tempura. So my life on um, Rugia to see Gresham is ended. Because there is no connection here. The connection is not good. So, I'm waiting on the food to come now. This is the pepper soup. They give me free pepper soup. This pepper soup is only good when it's hot. Now it's cold. It's not that good. Hi, Miss Kwan. How are you, baby? How is everything? Hi, Leticia. Hi, Lori B. I don't blame you. Trust me, Lori B. Everything is... Okay, now the food is coming. I'm going to read the food. Chicken and shrimp, yeah. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, very thank much. you. Thank you. The salad bowl. Yeah, please take Perfect. it. You mind it as well. My spoon, yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank Enjoy you. It. Can you, you can you bring me more sriracha sauce? Oh, something like Yeah, take the soup too. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Pepper soup. Take the pepper soup. So this is the food right here. Is um abachi rice. Abachi rice. can deceive you. Your eyes can deceive you. Your eyes can deceive you, Kwan. It tastes like water. It tastes like they just soak it in the water and bring it up. Hunger in. This is gonna be hunger in. It's not eat, 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 just it's pleasure. You guys know the way I'm eating my food, the way I close my eyes, the food goes down in your body, you feel good. Now, this is hunger. This is hunger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't have time to change it. I gotta go. I'm gonna eat hunger in. Mm. Hunger. When you're hungry, you know the reason I'm gonna eat this? Hey, these people. You know I'm gonna eat this. Why I'm gonna eat it? Because in life, you have to know how to manage your sometimes. If you don't like something, try to eat it. As long as you've put your money on it, try to eat it. Because it's for tomorrow. Tomorrow you might go somewhere that where there is no food. And the only food that you see, you have to manage to eat it. You know? That's the only reason I'm eating this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This is hunger. Hunger is. You are right, Pamela. Yeah. No, no seasoning. No seasoning. Nothing. Just plain. Yeah. If this food has some kind of If this food has some kind of seasonings in here, this place will this place will pack till people have to be on the line. The food looks good. The presentation is good. But the flavors, there is no flavor. Mm -mm. I need to start walking around with my pepper sauce. Yeah. I need to start working around with, with my pepper sauce and my seasoning. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't want no shrimp sauce. I don't want no sauce that's gonna make me throw throw up. Yeah, I'm gonna make small small bottles and keep them in my bag. For this kind of situation, you just take them out and help yourself. Yeah. I should have bring my seasoning. The food is good, but there is no flavor. I'm not talking to them. Those people. Oh no, they don't want to do it. Mm -mm. They're not going to listen. Because this is a big franchise. This is a big, big franchise. So all the food has to taste the same. Every every um hibachi restaurant you go, all their food tastes like this. You have to tell them if they're cooking it in front of you, you have to tell them to put black pepper and salt so your food can taste better. But if not, all of them taste the same. It's just like McDonald's, Burger King, um, Chick fil A, all those franchises. They taste the same. You cannot bring your own seasoning and say, hey, can you use my seasoning? They're not going to do it. If um, the rice is tough. If I want to talk to anybody, it has to be the CEO of this company or the owner of the company. So if the owner agree, then that owner going to, um, that owner going to buy my seasonings and and distribute those seasonings all over america wherever they have this restaurant because everything has to taste the same so i'm not even going to waste my time to talk to a kitchen manager here or some of these workers no i'm not doing that because it's not going to happen it's a franchise mm -mm. if i go to an individual restaurant i will talk to them about my seasoning but um, franchise, no. Franchise, I need to talk to the big ones. Some restaurants just don't know how to season their food. That's why I don't like to eat out. Definitely, Miss Eva. Definitely. I always say this. Food is all about seasoning. Yeah. Food is all about flavors. When food don't have flavor, 
It's for nothing like this now. I'm done. I'm done eating. I'm gonna take this home for the kids. Some of most of their sauce they have here, you don't want to eat them. Look at this sauce. If you smell this, you're gonna throw up. It smell like fish sauce or something. Mm. <laughs> I will never mistake put that in my mouth. I'm gonna throw up. I don't know what kind of sauce is there. It smells like fish sauce. I'm not gonna put that in my mouth. Hell no. The only sauce I eat from them is sriracha and um, shrimp paste. No, uh, chili paste or whatever they call it. But all this sauce they mix in. I don't know what they mix in inside. This is um yum yum, but they mix something in it. I I can eat my own yum yum if I mix it. But this one, I don't know what it is. It smells so bad. I cannot, I cannot put down my food. They have this one too. They said le less sodium. Maybe it's soy sauce or whatever. And I'm not using none of those. You know. <laughs> Miss Eva, please don't pray for that. Don't pray for that, please. I want to go to the bathroom normally, but not like run his stomach i'm not praying for that mm. no. the thing the thing a lot of restaurant owners are missing, a lot of restaurant owners, what they're missing is repeated customer. Repeated, repeated customer. Like me now. I might come back. Mm -hmm, thank you. I might come back and sit on the abachi because the abachi, when they're cooking it fresh in front of you, you tell them add more, add more. Maybe I will come back and eat that. It's good. But for me to come back and sit on the regular side and order food like this, I don't think so. I don't know if I'm coming back. Unless if I'm starving and I have no choice, then I'll come back for something like this. But if not, I ain't coming back. So that's the thing a lot of customers, um, a lot of restaurant owners are missing. Repeated customers. That's why you have to make sure your food tastes good. Your food is good. So people can be walking around and think about your food. People can be walking around. Hold on. People can be walking around and think about your food and say, let me drive, let me drive over there and go eat again. I went to an African restaurant um, like two weeks ago. Oh my God. It used to be a Senegalese restaurant. So this lady from Kenya bought a restaurant. She explained, I see that me and hot talk. She told me everything. She bought this restaurant. She's from Kenya. She do Senegalese food. Um, she do Kenyan food. She do Jamaican food, whatever. When I say her food is good, trust me, it's good. I went there by myself. No, I went there with the kids. So I was telling the kids, you come eat. The kids was bluffing. No, mommy, we want sushi, we want sushi. We don't want African food, we want sushi. I said, okay, go get your sushi. I'm going to eat here. So they left. They went to the sushi place. The sushi place was closed. They came back. So by the time they came back, my food was already out. I ordered for this suya. Then I ordered for... For... um, How they call this Indian? You know those Indian wrap? They, they, they have a name for them. It's like appetizer. It's pastry. They have a name. Samosa. I order for samosa. I order for only three samosas. When my kids came in, they take those samosas. They taste them. I have to order ten more samosas. It was so good. Oh, my God. The flavor. The, 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 the moisture of the meat. The paste. Everything was just perfect. It was so good. The lamb, 
even me, I was like, oh my God, I'm, I told her I'm a chef. I've been cooking for more than how many years. She was like, wow. She said, how do you like my food? I said, I'm going to be honest with you. I said, your food is damn good. I don't have no bad comment for your food. And after a couple of days, I went back with somebody. We went and sit there. We eat again. That's how you do your business when it comes to food. Any kind of food. It can be cakes. It can be, uh, 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 um, let me say, bakery stuff. It can be real food. It can be appetizers. Any food that you do, make sure the flavor is right. Trust me. You're going to see repeated phases. You're going to see repeated phases. Some people will come once or twice or three times a week. Some people will come for lunch. Some people will come for dinner. That's how business goes. That's just my little, you know, my little advice to most of my jewels out there that own restaurants, that do food businesses from their houses. Because I have a couple of um, jewels that used to call me and say, Oh, Chef Ruby, I bought your seasonings. I use them on my chicken. My chicken are selling like crazy. A lady used to live in New York. I think she's a Jamaican lady. She used to order those big bottles. She still order them. She using them for her cooking. And she said, my food, the people asking me, what do I put on my food? You know? So, if you're thinking of going to a restaurant business or a food business, please think about your flavors first. Think about your, your seasoning, the taste of your food. That's what's going to make you stay in business. You want repeated customers every day, every other day, every two days they come in. When I was at the BP gas station, <laughs> my breakfast line is an everyday people, everyday truck drivers. Every day they will come, they line up for their breakfast. Some of you guys know. Because the receiver <laughs> said that's where you should get your restaurant back. <laughs> I'm working on it. To be honest, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I even want to go back to a restaurant. I was just talking to one of my brother. He was telling me, what's your next step? I said, I don't even know if I want to go back into a restaurant business. Restaurant business is hard work. It's hard work. If you don't have the right workers, you have to be there. You have to be there. And it's hard. You know, at this time of my life, I can say since I came to America, after four years doing uh, working as a CNA, I started doing food. Up to this point, I was doing food, back and forth, restaurant, traveling, festival. So it's like, if I have to retire, maybe I can retire by now. <laughs> you know, but you never know. My daughter, right, uh, Nazma, she's cooking now. She's doing videos. So if if God bless her, she, you know, she put her mind into it. If that's something she really, really want to do, I don't mind to open a restaurant for her to run it. Then I'll just be the, the um, how to call it, I'll just be the backbencher to, you know, to support her and maybe maybe help her take care of the people in the kitchen and you know just make sure she do the right thing yeah but for me to be going up and down up and down again doing restaurants i don't know i don't know i'm i'm just gonna wait and see what god has for me in store because you never say never you know but as i'm talking to you guys up to this point people calling me on my phone where you at where you at <laughs> i just came to the bp where you at I said, <laughs> that's what they said. Where you at? Where you at? I can come. I don't care where you are. I'm coming. I said, bro. <laughs> I said, bro. I've, I've, I've closed my restaurant more than one year ago. So please, let me rest. <laughs> yeah, so you see, that's all I have to say. Lisa, Anya, Aya, um, Blossom. Um, bring <laughs> my greats um, tell my thank you guys for watching I have a lot of things to do um, I'm gonna cook for you guys later though you know I'm gonna cook I bought I bought some food for Abu and um,
for the kids when they come from school. If I knew, if I knew the food was tasteless, I would have never get anything from them. But um, I just ordered some shrimp and chicken fried rice, and I ordered some steak, whatever. So hopefully they, they like it. Can I take this? <laughs> I don't know if I can take this. <laughs> um, Diana said last year, um, last year when I was at Chef Ruby's um, jewels party, her phone kept ringing. People tried placing orders, and she had to tell them she's closed. If she's closed, she's closed. Even though that, even though that's called because people wanted her food. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. So you pay attention, huh? <laughs> Jenna paid very good attention to me. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that. You know? Yeah, like I said, you know, me, I love food. I'm a foodie. So when I cook food, I want people to eat it the way I'm eating it. I want people to enjoy the food the way I'm enjoying it. So that's why when I have a restaurant, I put my all into it. I put my everything into it. So the only thing I have to work on if I ever open a restaurant again is the management. I need to have people to manage my restaurant for me. You know, if I have good management and good staff in the kitchen, I can open the biggest restaurant in this in this Atlanta. Yeah, with my seasonings, my restaurant will go crazy. But when you think about the work that comes with it, sometimes you don't want to try it. You know, it is a big restaurant, right? This is lunchtime. Look how empty it is. Hold on. How to flip this thing? Look how empty it is. Empty. They have another whole side on that other side. Empty. You know? See? So, they, and they just opened. When they opened, it was packed. The first one week, two weeks, full of people. Anytime I drive, I say, hey, I have to go in there. <laughs> Me too, I'm going to. I'm a foodie though. I'm a foodie. Anywhere I see food or new restaurant, trust me, it don't matter how long it takes. I'm going to eat them. I even sent Nazma here one time to come eat. Nazma came, she said she couldn't find a place or whatever happened, she went back home. And I still determined to come here and eat. Today I'm here. But the first two weeks or three weeks they open, if you see the parking lot, packed. You see? So now maybe people come try and say, uh, I ain't going back. I ain't going back. So you see how empty it is. This is lunchtime. It's supposed to be packed by now. This is on a busy highway. Busy, busy, busy highway. You know, so please, you're thinking about going into food or you're doing food, pay attention to your, to your, to your spices, to your seasonings, the kind of seasonings you put in your food. Make sure you cook your food like you're cooking home. The flavors, even if it's not 100%, let it be 99% or 98 only 2% missing. Because restaurant cooking and, and, and home cooking is different. Home cooking, you cook small portions. But restaurant cooking is big, big cooking. So if the taste is going to be different, at least just 2% or 3%. But if you have 50%, it's not good. You're not going to last in business. You know, so... I love and appreciate you guys. Do you guys like my hair? I spent the whole day yesterday to braid. That's why you guys didn't see me yesterday. I love it. It's so pretty. These people, they can braid. Oh. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's the light. You guys can all see good. You all see my braids now? It's so pretty. I love it. You guys going to see it better when I do a video at my house. Because here, the light, you know. But, um... I will be waiting for you to open up your restaurant when I come to Atlanta, Chef Ruby. Trust me, when I open my restaurant, all of you Jews are going to be invited to come. I don't care where you live. You're going to come for the grand opening. You're going to come for the grand opening just to come taste Chef Ruby's food. You know? So, anyway, I will put it into prayers. God's answer is the best. So, I will, leave, I will put everything into prayers. Wherever God wants me, that's where I'm going to be. If you want me to keep doing Facebook, I'm doing it. If you want me to open a restaurant, I'm going to open it. So it's up to Allah. 
I love you guys and I appreciate everybody. Thank you, thank you guys for spending this afternoon with me. And I will see you guys later. I'm going now. I have to go. I might go back live. I'm going to Home Goods. I'm trying to look for like pictures for my house. Maybe you guys can help me choose some pictures for my house. I just want to hang some pictures. And um, I need a nice floor carpet for my living room. I want to change. Actually, I'm moving my living room set downstairs. So I'm getting another living room coming. It's a beige color and gold. So I want you guys to help me choose some carpets and some pictures. So I'm going to go back live. <laughs> That's where the people behind me are looking. Those people are having their own good time. They're enjoying. Some of them, they don't know flavor. So they're eating like they never eat before. <laughs> Come on, Alicia. How are you, baby? How you doing? Hi, Karen. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Mary. But I'm leaving you guys now. I'm about to leave. I'll see you guys later. Let me pay for my food. I don't know if I'm coming back because mm, I was not I was not impressed with the flavors. You see, tempura ten ninety nine. They give me five dollar tempura. Sweet tea three ninety nine four dollars. This one used to be ninety nine cents. This used to be ninety nine cents. Now it's three ninety nine four dollars. I'm gonna finish up, then I'm gonna ask for one to go, so I can get my money's worth. Yeah, I need to go back to IKEA. Ah, mm. ah can I finish this? <laughs> Thank you, Janet. <laughs> I want to finish this all. It's four dollars. I can't leave it here. I want to finish it and ask for one to go. I put it in my car because I'm going to be on the street the whole day. So I'm going to try to finish this. It's too cold. Um. I want to finish it. <laughs> I'm not leaving my four dollars here. I'm gonna finish all my four dollars. Four dollars for the sweetie. Are you serious? It's cool. This waitress, she don't even come. I don't think I'm gonna give her tip. She don't even come to check on me. I don't even see her. She's coming up. Yeah. To go, yeah. Big cup. Yeah. And ask if I did one. I said I need a big cup to go. So now I get my four dollars worth. Mm. I finished my money. I'm getting all my money here. I mean, I finished all my money. Four dollars. Sweet tea used to be 99 cents. <laughs> it used to be 99 cents. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. McDonald's have the big cup for 99 cents. Now it's 3 99 Can you believe that? <sighs> no, I finished all my money here. I'm not leaving this. I even want to take the cup with me. <laughs> Let me pay this lady before she come kick me out of this place. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Janet said, make sure you go to the bathroom before you leave. <laughs> I have good bladder. 
Hey, she bring me two cups. <laughs> Guys, look. Look at this. I get two. I'm like. <laughs> oh, yeah. This for my sons. Oh, beautiful cups. Oh, I'm taking this for my. Uh -huh. Now I get my $4 worth. So now I'm happy. This is $2. This is $2. And this is free. This is free. No, I'm going to tell her to bring one more cup. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar, three dollars. I need one more cup so I'll get my four dollars. Where is she? If she don't give me another cup, I'm not giving her no tip. <laughs> the lady going to say, who is this? Who is this lady? Why you walk away? Come here. I got to go. Where is she? Where is she going? I think she put the tip already. Did she put the tip already? Eh, madam, where did she go? Huh? Hey, sister. So, the tip, the tip not here? No. Okay. So, your tip is the first one. Uh, you can write down in the ticket and I'll give you the ticket. Can I have another? See, I have three, big, three kids in the car. Sure, why yeah. they don't bring the kids here? I told them so to I can stay in the car. Robot. I told if they come, they will eat more than me. <laughs> so I told them to stay in the car. Okay, that's good. Yeah, one more cup, okay? All right. I give All right. you good Thanks. tip. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have no kids in the car. <laughs> chef, you are a big deal. You are, you are a chef. <laughs> God for that. Mm, she's gonna give me another cup, so now I get my four dollars worth one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four dollars. I get my four dollars. You better be smart. <laughs> so now I have food for my kids, then I have drinks for my kids. You see, you have to economize. America, you have to know what's up. If you don't know what's up, it's a problem. <laughs> You have to know what's up. You have to know how to, you know, you have to know how to beat the system. <laughs> I have two plates of food for my kids. I have three drinks for them. Mm -hmm. It's only for the little one. So Abu Maru Nazman, Rashida, she's going to find a drink for herself. But they're going to share the food. So, <laughs> everybody's laughing. Yeah. Why are you guys are laughing? Hey, thank you. There you go. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much. You guys say thank you to my beautiful friend. Thank you, guys. <laughs> She's so sweet. Have a good day. You too. Thank you, baby. Let me, let me give her some tip. She deserves a tip. You want to sign the tip. Mm. I'll give her the second tip because she's too nice. Yeah. Hey, how you calculate this? Uh -uh, I cannot calculate this one. S eh? Where is my other phone? I have to calculate on my phone so I can put the total. How you calculate this? 72. Okay, now I'm going to know if you guys know math. Let me see who is smart in this place. 72.57 plus 13.69. What's the total? Don't calculate on your calculator in your brain. 72.57 plus 13.69. What's the total? Tell me, let me see. Let me calculate on my phone. Me, I know. I'm not smart, so I'm going to calculate. You tell me, then I'll see if you're right. 72, 72 dots, 57 plus 13, 13 dots, 69. Okay, I have the answer. What's your answer? Percentage. What do you mean percentage? I said... Hey, Diane, you, you already calculate on your phone. Look at you. <laughs> you go calculate on your phone. Eh? You just get the answer right. Let me put here. Total. 18.26. 
Diane, swear to God you didn't calculate on your phone. <laughs> Jacqueline, Jacqueline said 86.16. <laughs> Let me see the answers. <laughs> Anybody send another answer? <laughs> Diane went and do k k k k k then come type here and, sp and spoil our phone. <laughs> Look at <laughs> I catch you, Diane. I saw you. you. I saw you. You 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 skip my video. You went to your calculator right away. I saw everything. That's not. <laughs> My friends are laughing over there. I don't know. Let me don't steal people pen. Uh, look at this one too, Tamley. You take you take ten minutes to do calculation. <laughs> you take like five minutes to do calculation. Now you come here again. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dante. I get my card. I almost left today. Thank you so much. Oh my I love my jewels. My jewels, they pay attention to everything I do. Oh my God. Thank you so much. But I love you guys. I'll see you guys later, okay? We're going to cook some potato leaves later. And I'm going to cook something for the kids. I don't... Well, I might not cook. They're going to eat this. I don't know. But I'll cook potato leaves later. Love you. appreciate you. Um, maybe I'll go live on Home Goods so you guys can help me chew some stuff. And there, uh, you'll take care. Be good to yourself. Mm.